In the meantime, the uncertainty of all of this and not knowing where a potential Supreme Court could go or not go, and then the Chinese uh, trade war that's escalated, Tad, you would think stocks would be selling off quite the opposite. So why is that? To Schaefer Asset Management President Dan Schaefer, Daily Caller Editorial uh, Director Vince Colonnese, and Fox News contributor Liz Peake. Liz, what's going on here? This seems to be <laughs> counterintuitive. I did raise the the other side, the half full glass of the China uh, U.S. trade rift, and that each is being very coy in how they're moving forward. But what is going on? Well, I, I think you said it earlier best, which is it could have been worse. The rate on the U.S. tariffs that were imposed could have been 25 percent. It was only 10 percent. The rate on the Chinese tariffs were not as high as expected either. Right. And I think also, Neil, people are really focused on corporate earnings and on the growth of the economy. And so forth, what we've seen, and all the analysts are sharpening their pencils to figure this out, is that these tariffs, this trade war, really has not impacted as yet either consumer demand or profitability. We're going to hear, I'm sure, uh, tales of some company having to lower prices or something to compete. But the truth is, so far, it has not had very much impact. You could say investors are sort of looking near term, uh, whereas really this game, if you want to call it that, or this challenge to China is very much a long-term objective. So maybe they're wrong, but right now they're focused on, on the numbers. And indeed, as Liz was uh, speaking there, you can see the market sprinting ahead. The market says love Liz whenever they hear her talk, so that could, <laughs> that could do it. But, you know, to that notion, uh, Dan Schaefer, about uh, the trade talk maybe indicating that there's more talking or more compromising going on than what appears on the surface, or are markets getting ahead of themselves? Well, Neil, I think the markets are getting ahead of themselves. I don't think that China's going to come to the table with the United States and try to work this out. And, and you know, as Liz was saying that these uh, um, the tariffs are lower than they expected and they may not have an impact, they may not have an impact now, but in history, this could escalate. And as it escalates, that could be the major impact that's coming. I, you know, we're dealing with a communist country. They're heavily in debt and they're trying to control. I mean, it's a controlling nation. And I just don't think Trump's going to back down on this, and I think it will escalate. And there's also, also been the currency war that's been going back and forth. So there's a lot more undertone than what the equity market is showing us. And I think the equity, mar equity market will turn around as these tariffs and the talk chatter starts to accelerate, I believe, in the next couple of weeks. So, uh, Vince, if, if, I, I know you're not a market guy, but I, do, I know you're a very astute political read of events, so I want to switch to what's going on with Justice Kavanaugh, or Judge Kavanaugh right now might not become justice the way this stuff is going back and forth. Is that a concern right now in Washington, or do they still see him uh, squeaking through? I know I'm looking at it through Republicans are trying to push this nomination through, but let's say it were to, to implode, then what? Yeah, great question. I, I think right now it is of concern uh, to the Republican Party broadly and definitely to the Trump administration. I think just based on the way the president's reacted to this with very measured tones, sort of the wait and see approach, a little unusual, right? Which suggests that inside that White House, they're having conversations about this and saying, hey, yeah, we've got this is a sensitive subject and we've got to take it seriously. In the end, if this guy ends up getting yanked, you'll have sort of one of two scenarios if, the, if basically this confirmation falls apart and the president has to put another nominee forward. One is that this is really going to depress Republicans who are going to be upset that, it, that the sort of like nonstop winning, never back down kind of ethos that the White House has put out, that the president specifically has put out, has fallen apart. Uh, and that they lost on uh, something that a lot of Trump voters really cared about, which is getting a Supreme Court nominee in. The other side is what your prior uh, analyst was saying, that maybe losing this nomination means that Republicans are going to be very angry at Washington, D.C., and charged up to go to the polls to ensure that a Republican nominee makes his way through to the Supreme Court. So it's a bit of a toy cost right now.